Welcome back. And uh, I just want to remind you guys that we talk about soft skills and how it is important. And I've seen in my career people with high soft skill competency and average technical competency, they were always able to get a job. People with low soft skill competency and a high technical skill competency, it was very difficult for them to get a job. In the market, we have so many people technically so competent. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to tell story. They don't know how to inspire and influence people to hire them. Therefore, though they have technical competency, they're not able to find a job. Now, we might have some people, they're soft skill wise, super, super competent. They're storytellers, but they have very low technical competency. And we said these people may able to get a job. And unfortunately, sustaining in that job, able to keep your job, thriving at your job, still requires technical competency. So for the next seven to eight months time, I want you guys to pay really good attention on what, first of all, you have to build legit technical competency because that is how you get the job done. If you know how to talk, they're gonna hire you. Unfortunately, they will fire you if you don't know how to do the work. But if you don't know how to talk, no, you're not gonna get a job. So this both are extremely important. You need to have superior technical competency and a soft skill competency at the same time. Have you ever seen an eagle flying with one wing? No, you wanna fly, you need two wings. One wing, if you wanna be successful in, in IT career, you need to fly with two wings. One, technical competency. Two, soft skill competency and this combination will make you successful. Just a little reminder to get started for today's session. Now, in our previous session, we talked about what is software. And I said, software is digital solution to a problem. Now, let's think about it. We all know Uber. Uber is probably one of the most successful software that we know. Uber doesn't own any car. Uber doesn't own any taxi. They're a software company. Now, how do we come up with Uber? There's a guy called Travis Kalanick. He was a founder of Uber. So this guy, I think he likes to go to clubs every Friday. In one particular Friday, he was drunk and he took a lot of alcohol. And for him to drive is DUI, which is illegal, so he cannot drive. But Friday evenings, back then there were no Uber, you have yellow cabs. And these cabs, you have to call them, make an appointment, or you have to go to the street and find them. So because it was a time that everybody is trying to catch a taxi after the club is people are leaving, he was not able to find a cab. Now you have a problem. He's drunk, he cannot drive, and he cannot find a cab. This was a problem, right? And many people have similar problem back then too. So now, interesting thing is this. When some people face problem, they blame and they whine and they get very pissed. When some people face problem, they're like, you know what? We all have these problems. What if, if I come up with a solution for this problem, then probably I can monetize it. Maybe other people have similar problem too. If I have the solution, I can sell the solution. And this guy now started Uber. When I want to find a car, I have an app on my phone. That's how this guy started that company. His initial thought was, I want to go from point A to point B. What if, if the guy who's already going point A from point B, why cannot just call that person on my app so we can do carpool? He's going there anyway so we can share the money or we can share the cost. So this guy's making some money and I'm able to find a taxi, Uber, right? So this was the idea in the beginning. Now we know the idea, which is this guy got drunk, <laughs> so can find a taxi. Now you have one of the most successful tech company in the world, Uber, and Uber is a software. Now what's happening between? What kind of technical challenges and step-by-step -step process this guy followed to build the company or software called Uber is going to be the topic of software development life cycle. How the software from idea become a final product. It's called software development life cycle. In our next video, we want to illustrate step-by-step -step process of software development life cycle. See you in our next video.